So why do I have two different size flasks? If you notice, the yellow fraction, we have about 100 ml of this solution. The orange one, on the other hand, this beaker doesn't have any markings, but this is a 100 ml beaker. So it is less than half in this beaker. So it, I would say it's about 40 milliliters. Now, whenever we use the rotary evaporator to evaporate of the solvent, what you want is never to fill this round bottom flask more than half. In other words, if this is 100 ml round bottom flask, you do not want more than 50 ml of the solution to go in this round bottom flask. Same way, this being 250 ml flask, you do not want more than 125 milliliters of the solution to go in there. Because I had about 100 ml of the yellow fraction, I could not use 100 ml flask to rotary evaporate this solution. That is the reason why I have one 250 ml round bottom flask. So what we want to do is transfer these solutions use a funnel and if you want to rinse the beaker with a few milliliters and the rinsings to go through the same funnel and then rinse the funnel itself with pure solvent. Which solvent you use for rinsing it really is irrelevant. For the second fraction I used the more polar solvent one to one and if you use the same solvent for the first fraction that is okay too. Let me keep this aside. If this funnel is completely clean I can use the same funnel to transfer, but I am not sure at this point how well I have rinsed it. So what I am going to do is use another funnel, use this one, to transfer the yellow fraction. Remember that we have pre-weighed these empty flasks. So I am rinsing the beaker and you can rinse it a couple of times. To rinse the first fraction you can use any of the solvents. For the second one however you want to make sure you are using one of the more polar solvent mixtures either 1 to 10 or 1 to 1 hexane ethyl acetate because we know that the more polar component does not completely dissolve in hexane. Rinse, transfer, rinse, transfer. No more than 1 milliliter at a time making sure that I never go above the half mark in either of the round bottom flasks. Once we have transferred that, our column procedure is finished. We are going to do the rotary evaporator to evaporate of the solvents which will leave us with solid components of this orange fraction and the yellow fraction separately. These were the two components that were present in the solid mixture that we started with. Once you get the solid back, you are going to weigh the two flasks, that is after getting the solids, and the difference between those two weights obviously will give you the weight of the orange solid component and the yellow solid component. When after getting the solid back, we will re-dissolve it in a little bit of methylene chloride to spot it on our TLC plate. You are going to re-dissolve, as I said, this in methylene chloride, this in methylene chloride after getting the solids back and then spot them along with the standard ferrocene and acetoferrocene and you will develop the plate in 30 to 1 toluene ethanol. That is given in the procedure and you know how to do TLC as I said and you will note down the RFs for all the spots that will appear.
So now let us go and do the rotary evaporation on these two fractions.